and welcome back to Dominator 675 Models and today are we reviewing the Humbrol Clearfix Adhesive Glue. So first of all I'm just going to point out that I do have an Instagram. I do have an Instagram where you can see all updates and I'll put the link in the description but we'll get back to the video. So this is Humbrol's Clearfix Adhesive Glue which does supposedly dry clear. Uh, so, what are your eyes instantly drawn to onto this Hurricane Mark IIb? What are they instantly drawn to? Not the poor build quality, no, not at all. It is that cockpit right there. It has gone completely white and cloudy. Yes, I haven't painted the figure inside, but it's gone cloudy because the poly cement um, that normally come with any models that you try and build, it all glass parts or plastic parts uh, that are clear, it will cloud over as it's binding with it. But if you use clear fix, as you can see on this, BF109E. It does not cloud up the glass parts at all. Uh, it leaves maybe a little bit of um, markings, but as you can see, it's actually pretty decent and it's see through. It is see through. Yes, it does dry clear. It does work. It can also be work as making small, shiny parts like puddles, rivers, lakes. I'd rise them to be a bit smaller because it's only 28 millilitres in a bottle and it's a bit weird. But you can see, it does look better in real life. But as you can see on this truck, it the way, I'm using it to renovate it. But you can see here that it makes that shiny mark like water's been splashing along it. And I think it looks pretty smart. So now I'm going to show you how you can actually apply the glue to your part. So you can even use a little bit of cardboard and roll it up. I'll show you a Sonic Gladiator, but I actually use a little bit of thingy uh, of a cocktail stick. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to open it. Not going to show you how to open this because it is a child safety feature. So now I've got this open and now a child can go drinking that down their neck. I will show you how I apply it on this broken Gladiator. So what I use is a small cocktail stick that I've used for other projects like painting. and It, it really makes it a lot simpler to do and... The worst thing you could do is use a paintbrush. Literally the worst thing because you end up breaking your paintbrush and you literally can't get it off. No matter how hard you try, you can't get it off. Trust me, I've done it. So you stick your cocktail stick or your piece of cardboard or you can put it on a little bit of cardboard as well. And you just gently make sure you've got no excess and rub it on any part of the thing you, that you want to stick. It does, it does work like complete normal glue other than it dries clear. So I'm going to get some scrap. I'm just here deciding what I'm going to do because I don't know what I'm going to stick on it at this moment. Well, I'll, I'll stick this door on. Yes, I'll stick a door on a gladiator with clear fix. Yes, and it, I assure you it does stay on there. And it's a, clear fix actually has a surprisingly quick glue time. So you don't need to wait as long as you would think. It dries clear and it's a quick drying time. I'm pointing out the... Um, Stuff again, I don't know why I was doing that, but you know, we'll continue. We will continue. And once again, it's just a uh, screw on lid like so. So I, I hope you can see the advantages of using it. So overall, what are my thoughts on this product? Well, the pros are, it does not fog up your glass parts. It does, um, have 28 millimeters which is a decent size for any glue and it does last a pretty long time it's also in a pretty decent bottle um it's quite easy to store and i think it looks quite nice on models for water features because it's really quite effective but we'll go into the cons now because we all want to know the cons of products so we can all shame it all yes we're going to shame this product now so you need to open a window when you're using it because the fumes that come off this thing, it's literally like smelling a bin. It is disgusting. Honestly disgusting. You need a window open. It's honestly horrible. Second of all, if you're painting over other bits, it will other bits that are painted, it will look horrible. I would advise you using this first and then only using it um painting over it. I've not really done that, so I don't know whether it'll give you any marks on it, but it, it, it works. Um, it's it, it's it's just yeah, you got to get used to it. I would advise this for every modeler. So yeah, thumbs up from me. Summary: It's a good product, and I recommend it for every modeler, beginner to expert. 
So, I hope you did enjoy this, and want me to help me on the road to 1k, that'd be really appreciated. Hit that big red button and subscribe, because I am desperate. I want that 1k, and I'll be doing more giveaways. You can probably tell I'm really energetic today. Hopefully I can keep this going for, for every model kit I do, and I hope you enjoy my voice. Yes, my voice is brilliant, I know. You can catch me in the next one, and maybe we can have 200 subscribers by the end of the week, maybe. I don't know. Goodbye, see you in the next one. Toodaloo.